Oftentimes, the person you dislike the most is a reflection of who you are. Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Today I want you to think about this. It is through our facial expressions in which you can determine one's emotional state. But where our world is right now, and we're all wearing facial covering, how do we do that? Because right now we're left looking in each other's eyes. So insight is defined as a deep understanding of a person or thing. Not just looking on the outward aspect of the object or the person, but taking the time to have a deeper look into the individual or the product. Let's take, for example, this pen. We know that it is a pen and we understand its use. But have you ever stopped to think about how it got to this finished product? How many different people were involved in the preparation for it to get to this point? Or how many different materials it took to make this pen? It is the same thing with people. We oftentimes judge them or prejudge them based on where they are in their lives, whether they are on a high or if they're on a low. We don't stop to think, how did they get there? How did they get from point A to point B? What happened in their lives? Why they are at a low? Or what happened why they are on a high? We need to spend time to truly understand people and not just judge them based on where they are in their lives. But before we can do that, before we can look at people in a different manner, in a more deeper way, we have to start looking at ourselves. We need an in-depth look into our lives to see where we are, where do we stand, and what are or shortcomings? What are the things that we need to look at? Have you ever stopped to ask yourself, how did I get here? Who contributed to me being where I am right now, whether in a high place or a low place? How do we get there? Before understanding insight, there is wisdom. And as Proverb 4 says, that wisdom is the principal thing. It is the first thing. So get wisdom. But in all you're getting, get understanding. So how do we get wisdom? James 1 verse 5 says, If any man lack wisdom, let him ask for it, and God will give it to you in its abundance. So all you have to do is ask for it. So let's start with God's wisdom, not the earthly one, because the worldly wisdom is foolishness to God. So what does that wisdom look like? In James 3, verse 17, this is how he describes wisdom. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. These are the seven pillars of wisdom. These are the traits in which we need to possess so that we can understand people in a deeper way. This is the heavenly wisdom coupled with understanding can help us to come out of darkness into light so that we can be the light of the world and bring light to someone else. Listen, life in itself is already difficult. So let us spend time to get to know people on a deeper level with compassion and with love. The same way that um, Paul prayed for the Ephesians in chapter 1, verse 18, I'm going to do the same for us. And I pray right now that the eyes of your understanding are 
enlightened. I want you to help me to spread the word of God. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and touch that bell so that you can be notified when new videos are available. I am Allison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.